All right. Checking this one out. All right, cool. Yeah, that's some good stuff in there. All right. Watch out, there's a little bit of a... Right there, as it shoots up, it's a bit harsh. Right there. It's, it's subtle, but how quickly that root goes up. And it's maybe two, three frames too early. It starts to get pretty fast through here. Now I think the winds could just be one or two frames lower. And then, because the other thing is, because you're shooting up so fast, it will go up higher, hang a bit longer. Right now you're going up and you're already turning. But I think if you slow this down just a little bit, how quickly you go up here, uh, that's going to help. And I... I think the camera move helps, but it still feels like your character is going, oh, I got to go down here because I'm running out of space. It still feels like you want to widen that arc over. It's still a bit st stunted there. Right there. That's better. Still a little bit weird. It starts to get better. It's a nice line here. And once you get to here, you can see how everything just kind of flattens and it goes up too quickly too he's already on the up here if you look at the body he's already going up then i know he can technically glide and go up but since you are initiating another flap what i would do is at this point to me he would be down here or she go down don't go too far and a bit later to work with this and i will probably make I will bring those wings up. You have to start a bit sooner, bring those up a bit higher. And then you're going nice and low. You could potentially go bananas and go all the way down because it goes really high up, which feels too high given these, this flap strength there. Same thing here. It feels like versus why in that thing. It takes away from the weight and the momentum when you, you know, artificially kind of shorten that arc. That's all cool. That's cool. Oh, that drift is nice. The only thing about that, I wish that the feet were further back, holding him back there. There's still enough more drag going this way. So this being almost in front feels a bit weird. Like it's in a standing position as he flies. So it still bring those legs back. Yeah, especially doing all of here. So you still have that nice line of him flying there. And then there's a bit of an up move here. This up is too much. And it feels like the hip is doing most of it. Right there. That's cool. That's great. I like your ending. That ending drift and turn. It's cool. Love it. And then maybe that turn over right there. How quickly you move over, which is probably also that camera that goes too quickly, too fast. It, at one point now, we're suddenly locked. It's as if the dragon is parented to the camera and, and follows, almost follows the camera. So what I would do is drag the legs. And you can potentially even just tilt the whole thing a bit lower so that the body's just a bit lower in the head, just a bit. Um, and then watch out that you don't go over translate wise so quickly here and also delay the camera basically the dragon can easily go up until around here and then the camera starts to go with it because the camera is uh, the, the dragon is going pretty fast then we just catch up with the camera around here ish this is going to be a bit tricky but Ideally, I would change the coloring of this castle. I know this is a bit, a bit shitty. If that would be hardcore, I would say take this and move this tower here and have this tower wall here and this here. And you can still leave that. Why? Because that way you have a clean silhouette of that throw. Because right now we just you don't see much and you kind of miss that he does an underthrow here and then suddenly he just goes wee. 
And I think that will be better. And you can probably still leave the dragons. You can always take these guys and move them over and move a bit higher. But yeah, if I were to give you a hardcore note of changing crazy stuff, so move that thing here over here. Clean silhouette of that throw. And then the guards. The guard is a bit weird because he's just he's so low with his head. I will keep up that head here. And then he can bring up the head back. Like he's really uh, lifting. It's weird that he's so buckled there with his head. Cool. Yeah, guy is cool. Foreground guy. He still feels a bit soft. He goes, oh, with a little bit of, a bit of a, you know, he looks and goes, oh, it's, I don't know if you want to do a bit of more of a stronger shoulder take, like, oh, like, oh shit. And just maybe that would be a messier arc. Like, whoa, whoa, I don't know, not to be super dirty, but right now they both kind of twin up. I know they're slightly offset, but it's a bit simple. But that reaction is good. We could probably take a frame or two out of the shoulders. <gasps> so it's a bit more of a <gasps> bit of a snap. He's a bit soft. And the look up too. Like when he goes up and then the root goes, it's all very soft. And then careful here, it feels weirdly locked. Look at the shoulder, this area. It feels like it's locked compared to the lower screen. So when the camera tilts up, it feels like he's completely parented to that, to that as well. So we decouple those two guys a bit. That is it. More picky notes, but shot is cool. Um, and that is it. Thank you. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you. Thank you.